Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and I thought I would give you guys a quick swatch and review video for these new Gucci lipsticks that I picked up that if you guys saw my haul video, I will leave it linked over here so you can check it out. I I don't know what happened, okay? I went ahead and grabbed these because I saw Kelsey Brianna J do a video on these lipsticks and she looked so stunning. Oh my god, these colors look so great on her skin tone and we're similar in skin tone so I was like, oh my god, I need to have it. I need to have these and then I went on the website and these were <clears throat> $42 and I was like excuse me what what are you saying to me but yet I still went ahead and picked up quite a few shades so I decided hey let's go ahead and swatch them for you guys like don't don't let them go to waste like swatch them I did get 20% off though so I saved a little bit but still like they're expensive but I wanted to try them out and I like the shades that Chelsea had on and I thought they were phenomenal on her so I was like alright maybe they can look great on me too so I picked up a couple of nudes I picked up a couple of bold colorful shades a couple of reds and a deep vampy shade so I'm gonna swatch them all for you guys and give you my thoughts of each shade because there's a little variation for each tone and I'll talk about that as I go through each of the shades so let's go ahead and jump into the shades and then I'll wrap up with my final thoughts so first up we have shade 104 which is penny beige and it's described as a hazel nut beige. To me that means it's going to be warm, right? It looks a little bit nutty, a little bit caramelly. Maybe that's just me, but on my skin tone this is almost the exact shade of my foundation. It looks exactly like the color of my skin, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But it's not necessarily a good thing either. I would not wear this on its own because it just blanks out my lips. And my lips are naturally darker than my skin tone. So I would use this as a layer in color. I would either use a darker lipstick or lip liner to darken up the edges of it. Or I would pop it on the center of a darker lipstick to give it a little bit of an ombre look. Because this by itself looks like, um, yeah, straight up concealer lip. But some people love that look, so if that's what you're into, then this may be right up your alley. But if you're lighter than me and you still have those warmer caramel undertones, this might be a perfect nude on you because it's going to give you that va-va-boom with a little bit of depth, so it's going to be like a dark nude and it would look beautiful. And if you're darker than me and you want a lighter nude, again, as like a mix-in shade, this is actually a great one. So I don't hate it, but I just wouldn't wear it alone. The next shade up is 209 Mona Leslie Cameo, which is described as a chocolate rosewood. And that's actually a pretty great description for this one. It is a chocolatey brown shade, like a medium chocolatey brown with more of a rosy undertone. This one is a deeper nude on my skin tone and I really like shades like this that have a little bit of rosiness to them but they're still brown because I love a brown lipstick. This reminds me of like a true 90s nude and I love it. Now I like to mix this in with the lighter nude, so the one that we tried on before Penny Beige. I just outlined the edge of the Penny Beige shade and that's gonna give us a little bit more dimension and if I top it with a gloss it makes the perfect nude on me but then I can also wear this as its own nude because it just works so well on my lips and this one has great pigmentation it covers up the darker edges of my lips and I love this one really beautiful shade this next shade is 302 Agatha orange and this is an orange shade just like the name suggests it's described as a vivid orange red. On me it just comes off as a muted medium orange shade. It doesn't come off red at all. It actually looks very true orange. And this one has a more sheer finish on my lips. This doesn't come off like in your face bold orange which is okay because it actually allows my natural lip color to shine through a bit which actually makes the shade a little bit more wearable. It's a little bit more subdued. It's not just loud in your face orange because it's a little bit more toned down. Now on camera it looks a lot brighter than it is in person. In person it looks a lot more toned down. And I love an orange on my skin tone. I just think it goes well with orangey, warm, caramel skin. And I like this color, but it's not my favorite orange shade. In fact, I would skip this one if you're looking for an orange. The shade Tina from Oma Beauty is a much better matte orange if you're looking for that pow color. 
This might work if you're just looking for a sheer finish, but in that case, just get yourself a cheaper lipstick. So this shade, even though I like it, it's not one that I would highly recommend. This next shade is one of my favorites, and it's the one that really pulled me in when I saw it swatched in Kelsey's video. This is the shade 401 Three Wise Girls, and I'm like, oh my god. And it is described as an intense pinky red, which I guess I can agree with. It's such a beautiful, like, watermelon pink shade because it's pink pink like a fuchsia pink with a more red base to it so it's beautiful it's intense it's like this bold fuchsia pink with a red base so it makes it a little bit more subdued a little bit more wearable on my deeper skin and it looks fantastic I love this shade so much it's so bright it's so in your face like it gives you that punch but it's still wearable because it's not like a shocking bright color and it blends in with my skin tone so well and it's not too highly pigmented my lip color kind of still shows through so the edges are a little bit deeper and it just makes it looks so good but unlike the agatha shade which is sheer as well this one has pigmentation it just allows your lips to shine through a little bit which makes it really gorgeous to wear and i think these colors are tricky in different formulations and different brands that i've tried out and i don't know i just haven't found this shade in a formula that i like as much as this one because it's lightweight it's not too thick and creamy where it settles into lines it's not too pigmented where it kind of just overwhelms my lips Lips and becomes this beacon on my face it's just something that just accentuates my lips and looks beautiful so I love this shade all right this next shade is 403 love before breakfast and it's described as a cranberry pink this one is so stunning I love this shade I think this shade and the three wise girls that we swatched before are my two favorite shades from this line Oh my god, again, I have the same things to say about this shade. It's just the right level of pigmentation that doesn't blank out my lips. It allows a little bit of my natural lip color to shine through, which makes it blend a little bit easier with my skin tone. It doesn't just stand out on my lips, and I love that. This is such a bold statement color. To me, this is a fuchsia pink shade. It's a bright, bold, in-your-face color. It's not really a cranberry. It has more of that fuchsia pink with that violet undertone, and and it's stunning. I love shades like this on my skin tone, especially for the summertime. Oh my god. Again, it's very tricky to find this shade in formulations that flatter my lips and don't look too stark. And I love this. So again, this is one of my favorite colors. And I'm a little sad because I had an accident with this one. It broke, so I may need to go ahead and swap this out. But yeah, still love it. The next shade up is number 500, Odalie Red, which is described as a vivid red. Now I had a little bit of trouble picking between the reds that I wanted to get. I was gonna get the original Gucci Red, but then I was like, no, let me go ahead and get this shade because this one just on the models looked a little bit more vibrant which I love a vibrant red and it's so hard for me to find a vibrant red and this one mm, it's not quite what I was expecting because it has a lot of orange undertone so this to me is an orange toned red shade and that wasn't necessarily what I was looking for it's still a very pretty color but I feel like they're prettier reds on the market and this one is a little bit sheer. The sheerness again works in its favor, but I feel like mm, it's nothing that blows me away. I'm not like, mm, this is such a stunning red on me. I don't know, I'm just not that impressed by this red shade. For the price point, I can get a better red and mm, I'll still mix it in with other reds because it does have that vibrancy to it, but I can do without this one. But still an okay color now the next shade is also a red shade this is 509 Janie Scarlet which is described as a cranberry scarlet and this is what I'm talking about when it comes to a red this is so beautiful on my skin tone it's a deeper red shade so it's not gonna give you that vibrancy but if you're looking for a rich blood red oh my god this is so stunning it's like a snow white red on my skin tone if you're my skin tone and you're looking for that va va voom vampy red girl yes this is so stunning the pigmentation is beautiful it glides on it looks stunning i love this shade it looks like blood on my lips and i'm absolutely loving it so this one i would definitely recommend 
Now this last shade is 703 Tony Purple, which is described as a dark purple. And I wanted to go ahead and grab a deep vampy shade. And I am so glad I picked this shade up. I, I love a vampy shade. I love a dark lip on me. It's just my thing. I'm into it. And this one is such a rich dark purple with a slight red undertone. But that can also be because I just tried on red lipstick. But this is such a rich dark purple. It's like a blackberry purple. It's so gorgeous. I love it. If you're into vampy lips, this is a great one. And with dark lipstick, sometimes it can be sheer, it can be patchy. This one though has great pigmentation, no skipping. It's so beautiful. I love it. So if you're into these dark kind of shades, which I definitely am and it matches my hair, like who am I, right? Who am I? This is a beautiful shade. So I'm definitely happy that I picked up this vampy vamp shade. All right guys, so now that you've seen the swatches, you got kind of a feel for the vibe of these lip colors. Let's go ahead and run through a quick review. So as I said in the intro, these retail for $42 and, and I can't explain that to you, okay? It's just the Gucci price point. Now this is a higher end luxury brand, so obviously that price point is gonna be higher because you are somewhat paying for the prestige and the name associated with this lipstick. This is Gucci, girl. So this is gonna match up against Chanel and Yves Saint Laurent and Guerlain and those higher end brands. So the price point, while not surprising, it's still steep but you know you're kind of expecting that price point because it's Gucci like what do you expect so you're gonna pay for that name now the tubes are simple but luxurious they're not too heavy though I expected them to be a little bit more weighted but they're not lightweight like plastic throwaways they still have a little bit of weight to them and the packaging is this beautiful yellow gold but it's not a smooth finish it has linear lines running up and down the packaging that gives it this textured finish it has Gucci at the top and on the bottom you have a clear label with black writing that gives you the shade name, the number, and the manufacturing information. It indicates that these are manufactured in Italy and the open jar symbol indicates 18 month usage life once you open these, which is actually pretty good for a cream product. A lipstick typically has like a six month to a 12 month shelf life. So for this to have 18 months, that's pretty good. And inside you have just a sleek gold insert and the bullet of the lipstick actually has the Gucci logo embossed on it. It's just a regular shape bullet. Now the thing that I didn't find that luxurious about this packaging is that it's just a little bit of a click to close it doesn't have a magnetic closure it doesn't have that luxurious feel like I can't toss this in my bag and feel secure that this is not gonna come apart so I didn't like that I feel like they should have made this packaging a little bit more luxurious especially given the price point and the brand name like come on are you serious so I'm a little disappointed in the packaging but I mean it it's up to you like how you feel about the packaging. Now these are available for purchase on the Sephora website, the Gucci website. You also have them available at Harrods and various UK retailers. So any store that carries the Gucci cosmetics line, you can pick these up. Now the one thing I will mention is that the swatches that are shown on these different websites are not necessarily accurate. Like looking at the shades, they have them swatched on various skin tones, light, medium, and deep. They don't quite match up with them once I got them in my hands. And on Sephora, where they have the little color squares, those definitely don't look anything like the shades that you actually pick up. So I wanted to do this video to give you a better feel for what the colors will look like because these websites aren't necessarily gonna help us out in seeing what the shades truly look like on our skin tones. And the shade descriptions, some of them are a little bit off, like they're not exact. So I was happy to see the shades swatched in Kelsey's video and I will go ahead and link Kelsey's video so you can check out how the shades look on her skin tone as well. And you may be convinced because she's the one that inspired me to pick these up. Now as for the formulation, let's read what it says on the Sephora website. It says this lipstick has a bright and rich color and the feel is smooth, soft and velvety. 
All shades are created with a formula dense in pure pigments resulting in a brilliant color from nudes to oranges and pinks, reds, purples, and a shade of majestic green. Now I didn't pick up the green shade, but I did pick up an assortment of nudes, reds, oranges, pinks, and a vampy shade that I'm wearing right now. And overall, I think the formulation is very comfortable. It's very lightweight, it's very airy. It feels like nothing on the lips. And for a matte lipstick that gives you that punch of color, you still want it to be comfortable. And this lipstick formula definitely accomplishes that. This reminds me of the Oma Beauty lipsticks. Those are very comfortable. Those are one of my favorite formulations as well. And they have a beautiful shade range. These shades I chose are a bit different from the shades that I have from Oma Beauty because of course I don't want to repeat the same shades, right? And there is enough diversity that you can have shades from Oma Beauty and also from Gucci and not have crossovers. You also have similar formulations from Lisa Eldridge. She has that powdery, velvety, matte lipstick formula as well. And what I found about the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks is that they broke almost instantly. Like I barely swatched them and they broke. And I did have some breaking with two of the shades that I picked up from Gucci as well. I don't have that problem with Uma Beauty, which is kind of interesting because it's a similar formulation, but these are very delicate. So be mindful of how hard you press on these when you're swatching them, when you're applying them to your lips, because that's when they broke on me and I'm very upset. So that's one of the drawbacks and I wanted to mention that because you're gonna spend $42 on this, you need to know the cons that are associated with these. Now I find that this formula is a little bit lighter weight than say the Pat McGrath Velvet Matte Lipsticks. Those are also lightweight and feel very comfortable, but these feel a little bit lighter for some reason and these glide so well they're so soft so creamy but still giving you that velvet matte finish and of course we have to mention the wear time with these lipsticks so these are matte finish lipsticks which tend to be longer wearing they last a long time because they're not slipping around on your lips and I find that these last comfortably for four to five hours before they really start fading and kind of disappearing on the center of the lips and definitely if you eat or drink these will transfer so they're not going to be that long wear stain your lips stay in place all day kind of lipstick they are going to fade as you eat and drink but they do last a pretty long time on the lips without being drying or uncomfortable the formulation is a soft powdery matte that feels very airy on the lips and very comfortable and lightweight so you never feel like a tightening effect that you can get with certain matte lipstick it definitely doesn't dry out the lips either I don't feel like after I wear them my lips are like dying for some lip balm they just feel comfortable they're not moisturizing at all but they definitely don't dehydrate the lips either and they wear pretty well and don't feather because what I found with satin lipsticks and creamy lipsticks they tend to feather and kind of migrate outside my lip line I don't know if that's because of age or whatever but if you have problems with lipsticks migrating these don't have an issue with that but of course if you wear them with a lip liner they're gonna be more long wearing and definitely won't migrate over your lip line so that's something to keep in mind also they're easy to reapply so they will layer over whatever you have left on your lips without leaving behind like a really clumpy effect like they it won't gather and get thick on your lips at all it stays pretty even and pretty lightweight so you can reapply throughout the day without having any issues as well. Overall, I do like the formulation. I do enjoy the shades that I picked up, which I think is the major selling point for me, is the shade selection. They're fun shades, they're bold shades, and they suit my complexion really well. And I don't have these shades in other formulations that perform as well. So that was the selling point for me, and I'm happy with the majority of the shades that I picked up. The two shades that I'm a bit iffy about are the orangey tone. So Agatha Orange, which is the orangey shade it was just a little bit too sheer and it didn't glide as easily as the other tones it didn't give me the full pigmentation that I wanted or needed from such a shade and I will tell you to definitely pass on that one and then the Odaly red which is that orangey red shade that wasn't very impressive either I feel like that shade I can find it in different formulations at a cheaper price 
that would perform better. So those two shades are iffy, but the Three Wise Girl shades and the Love Before Breakfast, oh my god, I love those shades. And then the Deep Blood Red, Janie Scarlet, oh, that's such a stunning red. I love that red. And of course, this vampy shade that matches my hair color, what's not to love? So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase, except that I have two broken ones that I have to figure out what to do with those. And then the Agatha Orange and the red shade are not necessarily my favorite shades, so there you have it guys hopefully this was helpful hopefully the swatches helped you guys out to see it on our skin tone to see if this is something that you would like to pick up so let me know are you interested in these shades would you spend 42 dollars on them because whoo that price point is serious but i do think if you picked up a shade that you definitely know you will get a lot of use out of and that you will love then I don't think you'll be disappointed. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and leave links on where you can pick this up on Sephora and I'll try to find the other websites as well. If you see an asterisk next to those links, that means that it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. Now, it doesn't change the price of the product. It just gives me a small kickback for recommending it to you. So if you shop through my link, thank you so much because it does help me to put right back into the channel and it's also a great way to show your support but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no muss no fuss but until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you guys in the comments bye guys